I'm Carol. Have you ever wondered how to make a flame-proof balloon? If yes, then you're at the right place. Today, we'll be exploring what makes a normal balloon explode next to a fire and how to prevent that using the science behind conduction and water-specific heat capacity. For this experiment, you will need two balloons, a cup of water, a candle, and a lighter. Also, make sure you have adult supervision as this experiment involves fire. We will first investigate what will happen when a normal balloon is placed over a heat source. To do so, blow up one balloon, tie it, and light the candle. Next, hold the balloon above the candle at a safe distance from your face and lower it slowly towards the flame. It exploded! So why did this normal balloon pop? When the surface of the balloon was close enough to the fire, the heat of the candle was strong enough to melt the tiniest hole in the rubber. This hole then propelled the rest of the balloon to pop. So how do we prevent this? We are now going to try to set up again, except this time we're going to fill up the second balloon with some water. Don't fill up the entire balloon, you only need around half a cup. With the water in, blow up the balloon, tie it, and light the candle again. Hold the balloon above the candle and lower it slowly towards the flame. Make sure that the water in the balloon is directly above the candle. It's not exploding! Even when it's super close to the flame, the balloon is perfectly fine. So why is this balloon fireproof? To answer simply, the secret ingredient is water. Water is an awesome absorber of heat. It loves heat. Another way of saying this is that water has a high specific heat capacity, meaning that it takes a lot of energy, in this case heat energy, to raise the temperature of water. When the balloon is over the flame, the candle heats up the rubber, but the water prevents the rubber from melting and popping because it's taking away all that heat, keeping the whole thing cool enough to stay intact. This is an example of heat conduction from the candle, through the rubber, and finally into the water. A real-life example which uses heat conduction and the high specific heat capacity of water is sweat. When our bodies get too hot, our bodies produce sweat which absorbs all the excess heat from our bodies, cooling us down. From this experiment, you hopefully learned that water has a high specific heat capacity, allowing it to absorb a lot of heat, preventing the balloon from popping through conduction. Thank you for watching! Make sure to try out this experiment for yourself! And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. For more cool at-home experiments like this one, check out Pueblo Science on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Bye!